last Sunday was Father's Day. So I know about that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and and we couldn't Good. make it. So. So how did you use it? <laughs> um, well, oh, I'm oh, using yeah. it for me, not collaboratively with the students yet. But uh -huh. hello, Brid. Virgin. Cheers. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, I was about to sit with my my husband for coffee, so I'm going to get my coffee now. Go ahead. And yeah. Martin, come say hello. You know, <laughs> I, I wasn't sure what time was it. I mean, so your 12 is our nine. Well, that's UTC. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. This is my husband, Martin. Nice to see you. <laughs> Yeah. He's a blacksmith now, you know. All right. Oh yeah, Powerful. he's ready to go to, to the go to the workshop. <laughs> so uh, okay. He's crazy about it. <laughs> ah, okay. It's 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 unbelievable, you know what? Uh, how something that you had wanted to do for a long time, and then you have the chance to do it because life is crazy, and mm -hmm. then you Make know it embrace it now with passion. <laughs> okay. Lane is coming too. Yeah. Let me get my coffee. Wait a minute. Go ahead, get your coffee. Hi, Lane. How are you? Hi, Lane. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, looking good. I finally finished my grading yesterday. Mm -hmm. Good. I hope they appreciate it. I, I said. I'm praying that you read the feedback. I spent two hours on each of your projects. <laughs> wow, how many? It's only 12. Oh, 24 hours. That's a typical <laughs> teacher's overtime. <laughs> I didn't do it like all the way through like that. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, yeah, you do what you have to do. That's teaching. You do, you know, in chunks because... Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm going to keep an eye on Miro over here. And yeah, whatever we're doing today. On. I saw uh, Birgit was online in Miro before she came to Zoom. Yeah, I added some ideas. Great. Well, yeah, I know uh, somebody wants me to give a talk on the 16th of July about tools or to talk to PhD students, I think, about uh, teaching online. And they, I think they had in mind a lecture. I should lecture about it. Uh, Lane has great background material on uh, communities of inquiry and stuff like that. So I suppose I could give a lecture, um, but... Um, Not your style. Well, well, yeah, I mean, you have to frame yourself uh, appropriately, but also, I mean, you know, I've, I've been uh, absorbing uh, webinars recently by Nick Peachy and Joe Dale, and I think that that's the way to do it. That's really what people want, I think, really, whether they know it or not. They want to, uh, you know, you if you want to, well, basically, they want to see what the tools do. So it's not like everything is going to go in this chart right here today, but what I would like to do is play with some of the tools. Uh, I've got two more Webhead Sundays between now and then, and this one was a great opportunity just to play with Miro. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm finding out that uh, you know I think it's pretty flexible. But now we've all we've, we've I've looked at the other templates. I really like this one. There's there's also one that's called Reflection. But when you invoke it, it comes with a lot of prose material and I haven't looked clearly enough, but I think you could do that just by making three frames or what, or, or you could say, uh, what would you, what do you know and what would you like to know? You know, you could set up a, a mirror like that. So you'd have two frames and then you could ask people to put sticky notes of what they would like to know and uh, or what they already know and what they like to know. So but what you already know is kind of what this one looks like. But if you're dealing with uh, an audience, if you're moving this into an online environment, 
Well, that's just the obvious one. Or does anybody use it online in, in teaching already? Does anyone use well, tools like this? KWL is one of the templates. KWL. Yeah, the, what you know, what you want to know, and what you've learned. Ah, okay. It's, it's a KWL chart. They ah. use it a lot in, in you know, mm -hmm. K-12. Hmm. Um, it's one of the templates. If you click on all templates, or get, even if you, if you, you can do, uh, when it says choose a template, there's a search bar and you just do KWL, it'll come right up. KWL, okay. KWL. It's three columns. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. That's a KWL, not Kanban, I don't suppose. Kanban, oh, Kanban, there's a description of that. Okay, search, KWL. KWL, okay. Yes, that's it. Okay. So that's what you were trying to three columns. What you know, what you want to know. Yeah. Is that what you meant? Can I add this template to well, this existing? I'm afraid, yeah, I'm afraid what happens. I'm not sure, but I think once you do that, then you're ha you have that template and we've got all this here. Uh, Unless, yeah, I think a board has a template, but I don't know. You can always undo. Let me see what happens. Okay, though, though, we got a, we got a different, uh, yeah, okay, so we got a different, uh, let's see, put that up somewhere. Oh, okay, get a little hand here. You press a space, you can get the hand, no. Oh, no, yeah, there we go, okay. So, there we are, all right. Well, anyway, that's what I was thinking for, uh, you know, if you're going to approach a class of people who don't, whom you're just addressing for the first time, that's, that's oh, possibly a nice yeah. template to use. I see it plops it as a mini template as part of your board. You yeah, have, it adds it. So you can have multiple templates on the same board by being in a different part of the board. Wow. Yeah, I suppose anybody could add a template. You could add one. I noticed that someone put a mind map in Graham's template last week. Oh, okay. Wow. So yeah, just off to one side. Yeah. Um, Hi. Should we share well, a screen I saw here? Jennifer, Jennifer mm -hmm. Vershore was here on the board oh. yesterday. Oh, wonderful. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, she was here working on the board. And Heike was also on, working on the board yesterday. I saw Heike's and I saw yours as well. And two people answered my questions. Let me see if I can share a screen and get that board. Just uh, I'll put this up. Um, yeah, okay, this is shared screen. Now I got to find my. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I want to work on this. Let's see if I want to move around. Um, okay, so oh, we had, we had two questions yesterday. They were both answered. Mm -hmm. What does fun stand for? F U N. <laughs> <laughs> I know who answered that one. I, I think Heike answered it because she asked me that. Doris knows, right? Oh yes, my favorite world yeah. in all the worlds, the words in the world. That's my favorite. Always accompany me for for, yeah. for all the time I had uh, been a webhead. Yeah, frivolous. And I think that's the one that describes uh, webheads. And until I talked with Lane last week, I could never remember what selfless stands for. But she said, you got to remember the first word. The first word is synchronous. So therefore, what is SOFLA? Anybody know? I'm just about to grab the hand here. Here we go. SOFLA, what does SOFLA stand for? Anybody know? Should be coming up on the screen. Synchronous online flipped learning framework. Uh, sorry, approach. <laughs> it's an A at the end. That's one I never could remember, but now I'll never forget it. Let's see, what are people doing with, with this one? Okay, we got a few things added. Uh, Graham is here. Hi, Graham. Let's, let's see, let me check my participants. I think Graham entered the room. I'm not really sure. Um, in the room. In the room, can yeah. Any, okay. Can I'll anyone stop my get share so on? See people. There you are. Vance, Vance uh -huh. can anybody in can anybody in this Zoom meeting 
get in the board or do you have to share your screen for people? I'm not sure. You know, that's something that I kind of, I grandfathered in somehow to Graham's team. So we're in the Graham Stanley team. I'm, I, I looked in the, um, in the help materials and tried to figure out how do you create a team. It's sort of all, they're all written as if you assume you already have a team. I guess I did, I don't know. So we're all in the Graham Stanley team. Uh, so I shared it with everybody in the Graham Stanley team. Now, if anybody needs to, needs it, I suppose you could request. You need it, Maru? Yeah, I do. Okay, let me see. Well, um, I would love to. Yes, uh, Susan Naru. Okay, let me let me get back I to. I think uh, yesterday I asked for, you know, to get in. I asked to get in, but Did I don't I know how respond? to get to that place again. Okay. Uh, we have the link to the to the to the board. I cannot find it. Graham seemed a little confused about it last time. But maybe, what do you suggest? I'm Graham? still confused about it. So yeah. Confused. Okay. <laughs> I'm changing uh, the name of the team to Webheads, by the way. Okay, great. <laughs> Much more appropriate. Okay, I don't see any more requests unless they're way down in my email. So um, let's see. I'll, I'll share that screen and we'll see if we can figure it out. I think uh, I think I might need some email addresses. Uh, I see that I think, Birgit, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at the, when I'm changing the name of the team, it looks like the free plan only allows up to 11 collaborators on a board. Uh -huh. and so we're limited. How many do we have? I don't know, but <laughs> I don't think we've reached 11 yet. But oh, okay. We can't do more than 11 unless you pay for it. Ah, okay. Yes, it is good to know. Let's see, I'm, I'm trying to find my Zoom meeting so I can share my screen so I can... Uh, you can only... You only have three boards for free. Yes. Three, three boards, boards for free. free. Um, yeah, so... I just wanted to, to let you know, if you are at an accredited institution and you can prove employment, you can get an education version. Edu and an education version, but you have to you have to send them two documents: one um, mm -hmm. proof mm -hmm. of employment and at the institution, and two you have to prove that the institution is accredited. Here we and go. And then you can get an education one for free. I just I just found an invite link. I guess. I, oh no, I, I I the invite link is it. Here it's here. Let me let me find where the invite link is. The invite link is here. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes, we do. Yes. Okay, so if you go to um, to learningtogether.pbworks.com and you click here, that oh, no no sorry that's not it. This one right here. Join the Miro board. So that should be an invite link because that's mm -hmm. where I did get a couple of, I did accept a couple of invitations. So if you, if you try that link, uh, I might be able to go over to my, let's see, I've got showing you my, okay. I don't see any, um, I don't see any yes, email so right now. The Miro board. Well, yeah. Sus put her email in the chat. And, and I'll put this in the zoom chat as well. So, let me see. Let me stop share. So, so um, where is my chat? It okay. invites me to to make an account at Miro. Yes, I think you probably do have to do that. Okay. Yeah. So there's the there's the link okay. in the Zoom chat now. Okay, I'm there now. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Not walking tonight. Chris Fry has asked for access. And I'm, oh, let me just share this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not sharing, am I? Uh, where is the share? Here it is, share, I'm sharing my screen. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't want to be the only one who shares the screen. So maybe I could just set sharing for everybody in a moment. Okay, so um, I just got this, uh, 
okay, you're looking at my email right now, right? So this is, Chris has just asked to uh, join the board. So I just click grant access. And let me see if I've got anybody else. Um, go back to my inbox. Nope, nobody else. Uh, not yet. So is, has anybody else here asked for access? No. I yes, yesterday now I see my name in, in, in the board and my, my picture there. So probably I am in now. Okay. I think. All right. But I get only view only. Oh no. I haven't been accepted because I got view only. Mm -hmm. And request editors' oh. rights. I did that yesterday. Uh -huh. okay. I wanna do it again. <laughs> okay, just did it again. Okay. So um, let's see, refresh, see what happens. And it started. Nope, nothing there. Wow. And now let's see if there's anything. Okay. Uh, invite, let's see, team access to team board. Team. team is okay. Anybody with the link can view. I don't know, shall I change? But I can't. I can't change that to edit unless I upgrade. So, darn. Uh, shared with 17, let's see. Access settings, okay, we've got, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine people, how many did you say we could have, Graham? 13? 11. 11, 11 I think. Mean. Okay, two more going. So what can I do, let's see. Um, um, I don't know. Let's see. Are you, am I the owner of this board and the only one who can manage access or can someone else like Graham do it? Uh, I think like I'm the, the, owner. Uh, the requests for the invitations producer. go to more of us because I, I got a message from Chris as well. So maybe uh -huh. when people request access then it goes to everyone who has edits, um, mm -hmm. merchants. Um, I don't see. I don't see unless it's in my trash or something like that. But I but I'm getting messages in my in my inbox, so um, I don't see any. I think you get the invitations in um, in Miro. In Miro. Runs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see how do I get out of that? Let me lower this one. Okay. So. Um, how how do I find them? Um, Can I send oh, I send invitations to certain people? You, the top right, you've got you see where there's a little bell icon. Top right, a little bell icon. Okay, I it's just, I just disappeared. send, and it says that it has been in by uh, sending uh, to all of the the ones that are here, like. So someone should get a <laughs> my ah, I got petition. Susan. Here's Suze. She's the next to last. Okay, hurry, hurry. I am. I am. I am. I lost you. <laughs> to all board editors. Yes. Oh, you're already in. Yes, because uh, I have. But I only got call. view only, not mm -hmm. uh, editor. Only. I am okay. viewing something, but I think it's a There's board. A bell. Nope. Oop, unfollow the thread. You see the you see the bell icon now? This one with the number three. You've got three notifications. Ah, three Oh yes, I see it. Okay. <laughs> that should go. be the people ah, who've asked okay. for there we yes. go. Dorothy there we go. And Lane have asked there. for mm -hmm. access. Dor but Lane already has access. Okay. Well, she's asking again. I know. Well, I'm she's not asking. So persistent. I'm not asking. Lane, I'm, I'm here. I'm fine. Okay. Lane, Miro, Miro does not lie. You can see it. What did I call it? The whole, the whole of the internet can see it there. Elaine, well, Lane the... Marshall requests access to edit. Really? I am moving what? something, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, was a I can't get rid of it. I made a mistake. Give... I don't. I'm already here. That's okay. <laughs> I, I've granted it anyway. Can you see the that part of my screen? Can you see the notifications oh, yes. on my screen? Unless we're looking at our own new screen. 
in which case okay. we yeah. cannot see. I don't have two computers. I'm going to refresh the page uh, to see if I am in now, because I wasn't. Nope, I I'm I still view now. only. I think I am in now because I am moving some stickers. I'm just checking. I wonder why, why Chris no. is, Chris is, well, Chris is probably watching on Facebook. Hi, Chris. Um, yeah, oh, so wow. um, anyway, yeah, it could be, we're streaming on Facebook. And gosh, I, and I didn't I even. I don't see you guys. I am moving a, a note, but I don't see you. I see Maru over here on, let's see. I'm I see everybody. <laughs> I see again. everybody moving their their you can, cursors um, everywhere. If you if you find it annoying, I mean maybe you like it, but if you find it annoying, you can hide the cursors if you want. You um, can, yeah. Yeah, it's a little blue arrow up near the where all of our pictures are. Mm -hmm. The little blue arrow is to hide them. Ah. Yeah, it's but I think topic. it's kind of you know it's it's kind of nice here in the yeah uh, it's fun it's the fun. shared screen to see what people are doing. Let's see, uh, let me put this on. Um, I'm still view only. Oh no, Dois. Yes. I refreshed the page twice and... and oh, let let's see, see, Doris. Let's see, mm -hmm. I'll go back here. There's a... Um, uh, where do I see all the people? Everything is red. Un unread? I don't know. Let's see. Chris is there. You were there a minute ago. I don't see any. Uh, I, I don't what know I don't where see to click. Is the Zoom. Uh, that, I just went back to the notifications, but where else could it be? Got the bell there. Yeah, the bell, but that that one only has something from Chris, and uh, mm -hmm. request approved. So I don't see a history here. Mm. Mm, that's Chrome. Okay. Um, Hmm. All updates. Let's see. Aha. Doris. Request ignored. Oh, come on. Oh. Stop that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Send an invitation. Send an... Okay. Uh, I do I send an invitation? Will that help? <laughs> send an invitation. Let's see. <laughs> I'm going to check my mail just in case. But you could be the, do, do. the 12th person. Oh, could be. We could possibly pop someone out, I suppose. Okay, anyway. Van Stevens here. I see. Edit full. Okay. I got the invitation bands uh -huh. open in Miro. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Miro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. We got your message. Oh no. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Now again. Yay. You're there, huh? Yes. We oh. made it. Where is the uh, We made it. Interesting. I can see all the cursors moving. Mm -hmm. That's really lovely. Let's see if I can hello here. I've, I've lost no, my. Uh, I've lost my three. Okay. Yes. I've um, lost my little uh, icons. I don't see them. So you see Is, other people's, but your own just looks like a cursor. Ah, yeah, I guess. Mm. Uh -huh, yeah. Set the board start <laughs> view for newly invited <laughs> members. Now nah, I don't need it. Okay, so. Is everybody happy? So I see you, Doe, is flashing around. Mm -hmm. Yes, made it. <laughs> yes. So what have we got here? Let's see what works. We've got for online learning management. Uh, we've got uh, Schoology, Moodle, of course. Okay. What works for online assessment? Nothing yet. Listening. Uh, Vialogs. Okay. Halima is here. Uh, online gamification, Zoom breakout rooms as virtual escape rooms. I hadn't thought of that. Who put that there? I did. Who is that? Me. You're good? Oh, okay. Explain that, Stacey. <laughs> I, I haven't actually used them, but it's something that I, I'd like to try. Because mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I, I used...
used escape rooms a, a, a few times uh, during the confinement. And I wasn't really thrilled with the way I was using them. And uh, because, because I, I feel like I feel like I was moving from room to room because I couldn't like see all the students at the same time. So I wanted to make sure that they were all doing okay, but then I wasn't really spending enough time with each of them. So I don't know if I liked doing the traditional kind of jigsaw activities with them in Zoom as much. But then mm -hmm. I did do the other, the, um, I did this pub quiz with them. So we, we kind of, um, the same kind of pub quiz that's, you know, the typical activity. And they did that in breakout rooms and that was a lot of fun. And so um, I thought that, you know, we could maybe do like this, use that same kind of uh, dynamic to do an escape room, which would be interesting. They'd be working on, you know, figuring out the clues and figuring in, in their groups. And then when finally they were able to, they, they solved the, whatever the, the puzzle was or the, then they would be able to come back into the main room. That would be an interesting way I think to use some Zoom for, um, for gamification. No? Okay. Have any of you used it that way? I mean, ha have escape rooms, have you used it, escape rooms in a way that you're happy with? I, um, I've been developing some escape room ideas, Nugget, um, but not using breakout rooms. But yeah, escape room games that you can do over Zoom. Um, so yeah, I could send you, I'll put a couple of links in the uh, chat. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I use Zoom with Second Life. Uh, I got a presentation about one of the sites that we're working on the Virtually Anywhere uh, project that we're working with. And I got this teacher in Germany giving a presentation about uh, the Imperial Palace in Goslar. And also mm -hmm. uh, last week I went to uh, a break, uh, escape room in Second Life. And uh, that was the one Heike and Randall uh, were showing. And I tried it out and I think I can just, you know, use it with the students too, because uh, the avatar can go, I can go there with my avatar and students on, in Zoom can give, I mean, talk about what are the, what are the clues and as they develop. So I think uh, it's something that we can use. I haven't used it yet, but it's, it's nesting line in my project. <laughs> <laughs> not to to go to this escape room that are uh, really really good and and but first uh, it has to be introduced something like a story you know there is a storyline in the in this escape room and and it will be like virtually anywhere the project that we're using it's using a story to to then do things in in the virtual world okay and yeah so through soon because the students they don't have any avatars it's, it's difficult for them, it's something new, but uh, it's something that uh, it, it grabs their attention so, and, and engage them. So mm -hmm. far, we have had two presentations and one about Teotihuacan and the other one about the Imperial Palace. And at the same time, they could uh, also see the palace and, and the scenes that they have created because they wrote a, an episode for that uh, that place, so they were really happy and, and talking about uh, you know what the characters look like and, and this was really interesting, something new and interesting. Can you show us a link? Um, a link to the document where the script is, and I can also show you a little bit of the uh, palace now. It's in Second Life is ready. Well, not ready. Still, still things that are <laughs> missing. This is a, a work in progress, and and I use it for the classes. You know, the more uh, they are involved into the story, then you know, then okay, they wrote the, this, the, 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 and then I recreated what they wrote about in, in the document in there, and then I show them through soon what it uh, looks like. I hope that when the whole thing is finished, they get enthusiastic, and get avatars, and and get in there, you know, that, that's the next step. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to convince them. It's difficult because these students are private students. This is not a school. This is not, I mean, a group that you have for a long time. So I got them for classes, like they buy packages of 12 hours, but they come and come and, you know, and the, the new ones come and, and, and see what the others have done. And then we continue, you know, it's like, um, I don't know. I don't know what it's like because <laughs> I've never seen it before. Okay, so 
Uh, what, what are you teaching? I, are you teaching English? Yes, I'm okay. teaching English. Of course. All right. I'm yes. Uh -huh. English. <laughs> yes. I'm teaching uh, English. They are uh, well. They are um, in different levels at the mm -hmm. same time. You know, yeah, get but... intermediate, open intermediate. You get advanced students, and you get the the, the basic ones. They are. They, are, they don't participate much. They look from afar. They are like lurking, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're giving but them a second life and you're, you're, you're having them do interesting things. Sorry to interrupt, but you're, you're getting them, you're engaging them and, they're, and from that they're using English and they're communicating what they want. They're asking questions to each other and they're yeah. talking about the story. That, that's, that's the idea, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me show you, the, let me give you the link to the, to the, the script that I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. It is called. If you want to share a screen, uh, virtual I think you anywhere can. in Germany. Okay. Oh, okay. I can't. Let me do that. Right. Mm -hmm. So, this is the the Google Google document that mm -hmm. where they can write the story. Mm -hmm. And this is the actual Imperial Palace, and you get some information about it. You know. Mm -hmm. What is it drawn and all that? You get a lot of resources for them to research and find information. Who's, who's and writing then all this? this? Is, is that your, uh, your you've written it or the students? Both. Uh -huh, and okay. I mm -hmm. guide them. I give them models and I help them. I suggest things and and this is something new for them. Mm -hmm. uh, but then they, you know, so you got Dirk and and Anne and. Uh, Lilian and Sandra, those are the ones that are working on this, mm -hmm. you know, and these are the characters into the story. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, they, they created a, a, they got the model from the series that are, that's why I call this, this is a, a, a multimedia, it's not multi, in, in, in oh, come on. <laughs> in, integrates different kind of media, okay? So we got this uh, transmedia, a transmedia project. Uh, you got the audio series with a storyline and it was just exercises online. They go listen to the story, do the exercises in the page, okay? But then I got the idea, oh, this is virtually anywhere. So it, sound, it sounded more like a virtual world than well, what if we, they could actually uh, try to understand how virtual worlds work. Okay, mm -hmm. that was the idea, you know. I, I love virtual worlds, so <laughs> I always find a way to, how do I get people to come here? Because it's mm -hmm. such a, they give you so many tools and and, and for now is something that is more interesting than a Google document, you know, for example. For sure. It's just an extra activity. It's so nice um, to have you, be able to set your own syllabus, you know, your own, uh, uh, what you what what works with the students to get them engaged and what you think works because you are actually after all an expert at this and okay. uh, no you are I mean and, and you pull them into it yeah um, let me try to get into you continue and I'm going to try to look for the you know let me open second live and and show you um, I don't know where it was the last time. Yesterday we got a, um, there was a meeting with the uh, ILTs, the, the, okay, yes, this, this big, mm -hmm. the, this big institution and there were a lot of people that had been there for a long time, featured from many different universities and they mm -hmm. were talking about the future of, uh, of uh, education. And, um, they were talking about, you know, how uh, some universities are still working on projects that are, uh, involving uh, this kind of environment. They were talking about VR and of, of course all that, you know, but mm -hmm. um, that was really interesting. So, uh, some of them were really enthusiastic about that. Now, uh, you know, coming back to virtual worlds, not Second Life, but uh, OpenSIM or Kitely, you know, mm -hmm. there are other virtual worlds that people are using. Mm -hmm. So all of them were there to get about Minecraft and how and now. So this is something that everybody's doing. It's like, okay, they're using Zoom to bring <laughs> uh, people. They, they don't even know anything about anything, you know. So uh, Second Life is, it, right now they are celebrating their 18th year, hmm. you know. So wow. 
it's their 18th long. birthday. He has been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, well, so this is what I'm doing with my guys. And I also use Miro to, to create a, uh, but I did it on my own. I didn't invite the students because that's too much, you know, it's, it's, but it, it helped me. The, the, the board, the, the mind map I created to, to uh, I use it with them and later because I took pictures of it and I showed them uh, how the, the, the stories are, um, uh, where, where are we? I think we are in the, yes. It takes a little time to, to rest. Don't worry, that's fine. Thanks. Um, yes. Oh, okay. you're bringing up your, There's, we're looking at your desktop, right? Oh, uh, I think so. Yeah. Oh, what are you looking at? Let your desktop, you and it has a uh, episode 6.2 virtual anywhere. Okay. In okay, so now I am. Maybe you want to, yeah, in, there we go. Now we got it. Yes. So now we're in Second Life. Mm -hmm. So this is more or less like the castle looks outside, mm -hmm. you know? This is a little representation of it because it's a lot of work to create the, the real thing, you know, but at least some of the most uh, significant elements like in the front, you can see two statues and, mm -hmm. and there is a big staircase and then you get in, you know, to get in, you just open the door and your avatar can get in. And let me see, where's Pio? Uh, Pio is my avatar. Mm -hmm. Let me show you where she is. There she is. She's right now in the second floor. <laughs> there. Okay, so uh, this is what the students, uh, this is, these are scenes that they created. These are not um, in the original series. This is what they did. They created, a, a you know, in this series, uh, every time the characters visit, uh, a place. This is where uh, we got the presentation on Friday. Uh, teacher Anne uh, talked about the different things that are in there. This is a, you know, a model of the original place and all that. Okay, they, we were here. Some uh, other uh, avatars came. Teachers mostly. Nain was here and Pink Samurai that she's in 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 Egypt. Um, so, and she is in Germany. She presented uh, about. Uh, we got, I got someone from this country to to tell them. Okay, these are portals, and this is how you go downstairs. <laughs> okay, to go downstairs, you just click on that, and then it gets teleport. Yeah. This is the main hall of the palace, where you can see all the paintings of the emperors. You know. And over here, this is the uh, original uh, sarcophagus of uh, the king that is still there. That's King Henry, okay? And here, as you can see, then the story starts, you know? This was not part of uh, the original thing. This is, I am number one. Oh, why? Hmm, what does it say, number one? He's supposed to be number 11. Oh. <laughs> and he's mm -hmm. not the leader, okay? Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe it's the, the, the oh, I know what happens. That when you uh, write something. Uh, it's Graham. That's why. Uh, other people can, I mean, <laughs> the other uh, things listen to it and, and copy, okay? They listen. and This is a script, okay? Well, so this is uh, number uh, 11, and he receives the, the two characters, the, the trio of characters that they are the main characters. And, then they are invited to come in and join the, a, a session with the, this is, uh, where are we? There. Um, well, uh, with the Mason. 
the Mason for a stump cutter, that's the uh, medieval secret society that took, you know, got uh, together in this castle. Okay, so when they arrive here, it, they, it's closed because it's Kobe and da da da. And then the guy said, Well, I, had, I knew a friend and he can get us in. So if we come at night, we'll see him. And that's uh, the one that get, uh, let them in. And then they join the secret society. And that's why they are here and gather. Okay, this is just a representation, okay? So for them, uh, seeing this was really <laughs> funny and they started making joke about it. I mean, German uh, sense of humor is something that I was not used to, is something new for me. So it was a really nice <laughs> experience, you know? And so in this moment, this is when they are being initiated into the into and they are blindfolded and, and you know there is a whole dialogue that's coming on, on on this part of the scene later they go to they go to the table they have a meal and something happened there I and mean, then it's part of the of the what we're working and again this is not finished yet but uh, we're thinking that uh, with all this scene that all this work that has been done we can also combine it with the with the script and, and make like a book with the pictures and the scripts, you know, with the, say, the scenes. And those are new products that, and who are going to make them? Probably the next students, because these students are finishing soon. So the next students, I'm going to talk to them about the project and I'm going to invite them to, to join the project. And, and what is the idea is that to continue with this is to create a book a sort of a story. Also, we're going to make a machinima of it, you know? Mm. And this all starts back in in the scene number one, the uh, episode number one is back home. Yes, here. Later, I can show you <laughs> I already, we already created Teotihuacan and the temple of the serpent and the feather serpent and also we have the terracotta army and the emperor's tomb okay all of that is already uh, this is where everything starts and these are the three characters that they go to all these different places here okay so this is a uh, terracotta army teotihuacan and this is the german episode here is going to be the Argentinian episode that's uh, Pucara de Tilcara because the students from Argentina are writing also their episode about uh, their trip, you mm -hmm. know? Well, so basically, uh, this is what we have been working on and over here we have uh, where they get together the first time and they use the machine that is called Virtually Anywhere to this is part of the series okay in the session so when everything is finished i can give you a tour i can invite you so you can come with your avatars and, and actually <laughs> participate because i'm solo i'm also designing a little these are things that you can take with you and your avatars can wear so you have an idea and have fun this is also the origi original time machine from an uh, this book here, the book of, um, yes, uh, A.G. Wells. This is a famous old movie, it's a classic, you know? So also, you can talk about that. So there are many things that you can uh, use just by working on just one project and they know it's, it's like a whole, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is yet, but you know, we, we're getting there. So, um, well, um, anything else that you want to, to know, see, or? Well, I haven't this been is... in, in, uh, in Second Life in ages, I mean, for a really long time. I, and because mm, when I tried it out, like when it started, um, there were sometimes problems with like um, time lag between when you spoke and then you could hear, there were like some technical problems. And also I thought that like the programming okay. language that they used was like really, um, I'm going to I'm going to mute my mic here in the session. Uh, okay, here. 
Mm -hmm. Your mic is muted. Of course, we can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoops. Oh, I, no, what did I do? I, we were viewing Doris's screen, okay. But we can't hear why she muted her mic. I guess she's talking in that one. I don't know, Graham, what do you think she's doing? I don't know. It looks like it's magic, though. Hmm. I just, um, what did I do? I, oh, I see. I was in, I was in full screen. Ah, okay. So now we go, okay. I put it in, um, in gallery view. This is, I'm just thinking ahead to the, uh, to what people see on the screen. So, um, I'm planning, believe it or not, a diving trip coming up. COVID seems fairly well under control in Malaysia, and it has to be in Malaysia. But next Sunday and the Sunday after, it would be really helpful if people could do things like Doris is showing us right here. Uh, take some responsibility for, uh, like Graham did last week. Um, we we're sort of looking for people because I, it, it, my dive trip starts next Monday. That is, I, I get on a plane next Monday. And then I, I'm not sure when I'm coming back. Maybe. <laughs> uh, anyway, but be thinking if you would like to lead one of these episodes. Um, I'll try to, I, I think where I'm going, I probably have Wi-Fi. It'll be on islands, but I'm not really sure. So Doris, are you back with us yet? Still muted. Yep. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, and you stopped your sh your screen share. Yeah. Oh. So, well, this is what I have been doing. <laughs> this is uh, what we have been doing, and it's all you know, kind of all I knew at the same time. You know, uh, I I had been part of uh, a donation and with Heike and with a lot, a lot, a lot of people like Nancy and Nelly and Eugenia. These are people that are, I mean, these are teachers. Uh, even Elena has been here for a long time, okay? And we had been, we had been part of uh, EVO uh, for a long time also. And we always have these virtual sessions and we, we have worked with Machinima and we had worked with uh, games, okay, and how to use uh, virtual worlds in, in, and teach English and learn English. So what I'm doing with this project is the, the product of all those years, you know, being together and, and learning a lot. Oh, yesterday I was there. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> a lot of pictures of those. Yes, I got a lot of pictures of those. Maybe you can, I don't know. These are from uh, Kim Harrison, or also known as yes. K4 Sons. Yes, um, I am there. Look at, look at the, I am, well, Pio is there. <laughs> Pio, which one is Pio? And uh, previous, the previous uh, picture oh. that you show, you okay. go back. Uh -huh. There you can see her sitting uh, on one of the chairs on the Left, right, right side. Right side, uh-huh, okay. Yeah, there, that she is, she's, wear, she's wearing gray. It's ah, the first one on, the, okay. on that road. Okay. <laughs> yes. Let's see if we can find That was a really interesting, oh, I don't know. Uh, she's okay. very shy. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> She's very there were so many gurus stuff. there. I mean, this is this mm -hmm. was the people that had been there for the very beginning, and mm -hmm. they had wonderful projects. You know, they had worked, done wonderful things. Uh, Rahan also did wonderful things. I visited his island with my students. We went to and we rode the uh, uh, the dinosaur. No, is it that dinosaur? What is it? Uh, what is the name? Yes, how. The, What's then the nickname of the, of it? Nessie. Nessie. Nessie, yes. We wrote Nessie. We got this caliber. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, no. yes. The Loch Ness monster. We that went was there. That was dream. wonderful. It is a shame that it's not there anymore because it was really nice, fun thing to do. Hmm. Also, you got their quests, and there were two, right, Ran? That's and right. Excalibur was one of them. Doris, thank you. 
You said that uh, I will live in Germany. Sorry? Are, are you living in Germany? No, I don't live in Germany. Right now I'm in, in Argentina. Uh -huh. But I got students from Germany. <laughs> so sophisticated for me. If I could demonstrate your second life, uh, Berlin, uh, in the beginning of the century, 20th year, I understand. Because I read many books about cafe, about music, about the uh, heroes in cafe. Also. But your island is <laughs> like fake for me, and technique is just fake for me. Mm, I find that in the time of the isolation, people's ideas about uh, musical possibilities, destination, can get no uh, restrictions, and uh, your uh, castle full of portraits of uh, a very beautiful people, uh, nevertheless, can give a uh, view, whole picture about national culture, for example. If I see your, I see that this uh, uh, Western country portraits are made in European style, castle, maybe in Uzbekistan, it will be very important. It will uh, you be... could do something with Uzbekistan. Oh, there. if I dare, <laughs> I, I would like because. I always well. see the hiker. I never seen you, never seen hiker, never seen uh, Nelly Mueller. They are like island, like stars, and they live in a very far island. This so beautiful thing. <laughs> Maybe Doris Wilson, Doris, would you uh, teach us how to do this thing? Are you of at, um, Are you at uh, Facebook? Yes. Yeah? Yes, you can find me on Facebook, Doris Molero. Doris uh -huh. There's my. I just wrote my yeah, yeah, yeah. email in the I chat, will, so will, you can I contact will. me. Okay, will, we can work together. Yeah. Something. Yes, I. I would love. I would love to work with you. Step by step, in the culture near the Samarkand. I okay. can meet you because uh, we are uh, situated in the Great Silk Road, as you know, the Samarkand ancient culture, a Tamerland, the Great Tamerland, and our country is called Shagrila country. It is a country where it's very safe life. Even whatever happens, the life in Tibet, in our country, it is safe, it is so safe. In our country is safe, very safe, you know, very friendly people. And I think that our life isolated is so good. But all this island, 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 Island is a picture with me, ocean, seas. We have no oceans, we have no seas, we have even no water, only Landlocked. sea river. Only the Aral Sea. Yes, yes, and therefore it will be in desert, like Aladdin, like one and a thousand, one night. Maybe you make together, I see that you um, uh, have been so Portuguese, Spanish culture, it will be interesting. Okay, I will write for you. Yeah, thank you. you. Yes, thank you. Please, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, wonderful. that was specifically that's something that they mentioned yesterday in the in the meeting that they, you know, with the COVID thing now students cannot go to the places they cannot even walk on the street and and do things. So virtual worlds become a, a nice uh, venue, you know, or something even like. I have the second line this time and like. Uh, or says that my band is so loud and uh, not always allow me to be a second fly. But nowadays, internet connection is good. Maybe we can. Sprechen Sie auch Deutsch, ja? No, nada. No. Okay, good. I try. I try. Okay. I just, I just know how to say chu shu, shu, something like this, is to say yeah. goodbye. Choose, okay. <laughs> but I'm That's learning. I'm, 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 I'm already got a, 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 an application mm -hmm. memorized, memorized, okay. and I'm trying to learn some few words. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I, I didn't, I, I didn't, <laughs> but you know, Wonderful. it's also related Wonderful. to Miro. <laughs> it all started there. Yeah, okay. I'm just looking. Oh, 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 I'm getting a call. What time, what time is it? Is it, is it time already? Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Ah.
I didn't, I didn't. I didn't even show them my mask. You know, we we haven't had any masks yet. You know, Graham is oh. always coming out with some masks. Oh yes, of go. course, of course. Ah, uh, okay. So here we are. This is this is one of the best COVID masks. You can you can avoid things coming at you. You you breathe through this it's tube wonderful. at the top, so the the face to face doesn't really matter all that much. So this is actually uh, I just wear this on the street. You know. I put this in my mouth to avoid infecting other people. I'm kidding, of course. I, I'm not really doing that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I totally imagined you there. Oh, oh, oh. Bobby has a Oh, there she comes. Yeah, she gets she another her one. Own COVID mask. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Bobby used that for, uh, for diving as well. Yeah, yeah, I know she has trouble breathing underwater, but it's uh, it's okay, you know. It's uh, let me stop my screen share here. There we go. I was just looking at the. I guess I guess the cat would scare the fish though. <laughs> the count was that what that was? Uh, I don't know. That's I don't know. It's something from Venice. I've never been there at that time. So anyway, well, gosh, there we are. What are we doing tonight? This is, um, let's see, this, oh, what, what, yeah, I'm getting to another, here we are. Okay, so this is um, the 28th of June, 2020. This is Learning Together episode 475. I don't know what I said last week, but I'm pretty sure this one is 475. And this is Talon event number 29. Talon is slowing down though, we might just get up to 30 or We'll see how it goes till the end of the month or into July. Well, I guess I'll keep it going until I do my thing on July 16th. But if anybody wants to uh, give more, I mean, we have our, our Sunday uh, Webhead's weekly Sunday Sandbox open mic in ours is what I'm starting to call them now. But um, anyway, and this is the 14th one of those. So... Um, and here we are with uh, six people left. We had about seven or eight earlier. And we blog all this at learningtogether.net. And it's really nice to see everybody. Uh, so is there, are there any final words before we say goodnight? Is it, would anybody like to do anything in particular next week? Anybody got any ideas that they're just burning to present something? Graham's had his turn. You just did yes. second life. I already, you know? <laughs> I already really threw it a lot. Well, Cover. Is... I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. You so apologize. What are you talking about? This is what we do here. We we're learning together. This is uh, it's really nice to see what you're doing because you've talked about it before, and we've had your links, but to actually show it to us and then for me to put it together with what Kim was sharing with me on Facebook. Uh, and uh, just to contextualize it, that's really nice. It's a very interesting project. And, yeah, uh, we're still going on, and it's so it's, it's, uh, we haven't finished. We are working on it, and it's going to be a lot more. I hope so. It's going to be a lot more. Well, uh, well, we certainly have. Once a you mind get started, then you get a lot of more ideas. Like, okay, we can do this. And we can do this. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. I really like. Uh, I really like it. What we're doing and what the students are doing and their reaction. To it yeah it's a, it's a nice mindset because it's what i'm trying to do in minecraft for example that's why i think minecraft is interesting for language learning what graham is doing with escape the room and Heike and all her her many projects Heike Philp. so um and maru i don't know maru any connections are we, are we reach are we getting into your sphere you here well no i'm i'm actually not working not doing anything with students this uh -huh. uh, at this moment uh-huh but you're a webhead, so you're one well, of I'm us. I'm a webhead, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I, I am. <coughs> what What are you doing? I am doing more like education things. I'm I'm involved in courses and um, not giving. I mean, something to show that I am giving. I'm doing now with mm -hmm. other people. Um, um, yeah, yeah, courses. How do the idea is to teach. To teach or help teachers that teach online. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's the idea. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. Go together. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. I'm I'm basically working with teachers, using mm -hmm. my teaching experience, 
And Birgit? Yeah, well, now, now I'm in a lucky place. Mm -hmm. Mom is really getting, getting better. Ah, so I have mm -hmm. more time to, to be online because uh, before, whenever I disappeared, she was kind of panicky. If she didn't see me. And now she, I can tell her she gets the idea. She's getting better. That's it's incredible. This is really fantastic. She's, mm -hmm. she's getting better and better every year. And um, so I, I can tell her I am, I will be working. I'm at the office. I'm still in the house. Whatever you need, I'm around. And now she just, instead of panicking, she comes over and, she, and see if I'm here. So I have more and more time to work with uh, with students or with teachers mm -hmm. so but not i don't have anything to share as to say i i will hold ne next week the next week meeting because i don't have anything really to share what i have what i'm doing now is with teachers in spanish mm -hmm. so i could show you the sites we visit but it's everything in spanish so it's mm -hmm. kind of ugh, not suitable <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is. I mean, this is a language. You're teaching languages. You are, we're talking about the pedagogy, the, the strategies, the, the ideas. Okay, so if it's in Spanish, it doesn't matter. You speak Spanish and English, so I, I can also help. <laughs> and, <laughs> and Ryan also speaks Spanish and and and, and Vans speaks speak Spanish. No, okay, no so. No puedo hablar español. <laughs> Disculpe me. Well, you will ah. be diving anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um. mm -hmm. So, Birgit, just a little about you. What are you doing? Uh, well, um, I, I teach at this, a school oficial de idiomas, which is like an official language school in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. um, and I also oh, work at, at the department. You speak education. Spanish too. Hablamos I, español I, entonces. Yo también hablo español, sí. <laughs> you can do one in Spanish. I don't really mind. You can do one in Spanish. Yeah. Um, yeah. is <laughs> de red. Sorry? Webheads in Spanish, I guess. Yeah. Cabeza de red. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the red. Yeah. And so I, I work also at the uh, Catalan Department of Education, mm -hmm. but and so I do a lot of teacher training and curriculum development and things there. Um, and uh, but I'm actually uh, giving that up after 17 years. So next year I'm going to um, just stick with my teaching and like look for other projects, other things I want to do. But um, so yeah. So I, I, I like having both. I like having, you know, actually the students to work with and to try things on and also having the possibility of doing, you know, research and teacher training and, you know, I like having the balance between the two. So, I'm, uh, but, but I'm more, I mean, um, I'm more interested maybe in, not so much in the tools, but with what you do with the tools, you, you know? So I mean, like kind of the, I, I teach blended courses, right? So I, a lot of the teacher training that I'm doing has to do with what is a blended course and what's the best way to get um, the maximum out of both of the two environments and how the online environment can give added value to the activities that you're doing, but not just kind of transferring the normal face-to-face -face activities into uh, an online context, but actually looking at things you can do in the online context that it would not be possible if you didn't have that. So um, that's kind of my, my focus. Um, and so, I, I mean, I, I think tools are really interesting, uh, but I think that sometimes uh, we end up getting really excited about the tools and not thinking about what we're using them for. So I always think it's important to start with like the objectives, like what are we, what are we trying to achieve? Uh, and then see what tool is the best tool in order to be able to achieve that. So I think it's cool, you know, and what I was saying about Second Life, like years and years ago, I was in Second Life, but then I, I, I felt like on the one hand, I'm, I mean, I'm sure it's like much more robust now because I remember at the beginning, it was like, there was all this like time lag going on between when one person spoke and another person. And then also I, I learned the programming language because I do know a little bit of scripting and programming. And I thought it was like, not, it was just, I didn't like the, the, the way that the language worked. It wasn't really object oriented, you know? And so I kind of gave up, but maybe if it's something that you're saying that now has, is much more robust, or if maybe there's an other virtual world that you would recommend, I mean, it would be something that I'd be maybe up for trying. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, it depends on the teacher. If you have a skilled teacher, like Doris, for example, obviously uh -huh. infuses her students with an interest in what she's doing. And if it's me and Minecraft, I, if I have, have people who are interested in that, uh, mm -hmm. then, you know, they'll, they'll get into it. That's, I mean, we're working with teachers right now. So we're, we're, um, mm -hmm. we're basically getting teachers into this. And mm -hmm. interesting because when it, 
in this online environment, it's easy to find people who are attracted to the environment and can learn about it. But then if you actually are in your workplace and you get a few my, uh, my, Minecraft licenses, uh, I think my last work situation, I got teachers uh, to try to learn about Minecraft, but they just couldn't make the connection between what we're doing here and classes and then you're constrained by your syllabus and yeah, you know, because Doris is in charge of what she does. This is this is where it's what, wonderful. It really well, yes. it makes it it yes. makes it work. You know, whereas what I'm if, doing is what web apps have always done. Okay, all I know I have learned here uh, with you guys, um, and it's just basically. I mean, if, if you used Google Docs, why cannot you use virtual worlds? I mean, yeah, you know, you find and a way to connect. Okay, you're using Google Docs well, as well. Right now, I'm teaching students and they only have the telephone, okay? We have Zoom and they only have a telephone. So, okay, we use Google Docs and for Dennis, you know, to have, a, so they are sisters and, and, and they say, okay, you guys, you know what you're going to do because you get the students and you don't know what they have, okay? What, what are the tools that they, or they or what is the, the, the literacy, the, the digital literacy that they have? So you are, as you have a, a class and you find out more and you find that and then you adapt and adjust and you okay this tool is not good we, we use this better and at the same time you teach them how to use the things and they if they they really want them I mean, this one want to prepare these are two guys two girls that are preparing for to take an, a test you know the the c1 advance uh, the cambridge uh, advance so um I told them, okay, so one of you is, they have one iPad also, so you, you are going to get the, the Zoom in one device and then each of you are going to have your phones on your hands and you can use the, the Google Docs, okay? And so um, they're going to participate also in the project. So through Zoom, I can show them virtual worlds. It's not like they had to go to the virtual world and, and to really see, uh, maybe, like, like I told you, at the end of the project, probably they will get enthusiastic and if they have a, a computer where they can a connection, they will get theirs. But the idea is not to, I'm not teaching them Second Life, I'm, I'm teaching them the medium, okay? Mm -hmm. It's, again, yeah. it's like uh, Google Docs. We use this, why don't we use that also? If we have, uh, I know how to do it. And, uh, it's beneficial. Yesterday, Nahin told me, I got my students on Zoom and took them to, I was teaching them how to rent an apartment. So in Second Life, there was a place and she went to a rental place in Second Life and she was her avatar given the class. I mean, she was teaching them and they were practicing the vocabulary and they were practicing whatever, but it was immersed in that, in that. And it's just out of the, it's not the book, it's not the Google Doc. It's, you know, a different experience. And so why not, I say, why not? <laughs> okay, well, Bobby is starting to concern me. She's boiling spaghetti. <laughs> I'm not sure. I didn't think we were having spaghetti yes. tonight. She's, she's just, <laughs> okay. Well, it was a pleasure to see you all. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for the moment, Vance, where, where that spaghetti ends up on your head. Oh, no, 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 no. Graham no, keeps no, trying for long these. That. Graham is waiting for that moment where the spaghetti comes on my head. It's kind of like Linus in the football. I don't know if you know about that. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, on Sunday. Okay. Anyway, okay. thanks everyone for coming along. Have a nice weekend. Have yeah. a nice you too. Thank you. day. And okay. <laughs> bye bye. Hasta la, pro hasta, la, hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima. La próxima. <laughs> sí. Bueno. Después. <laughs> okay. Adios. Okay. Bye-bye. Switching things off. There goes the recording.